Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and kind of just make uh, a really simple like discussion video on kind of what you guys expect to see or really want to see uh, in the 3.0 expansion for the fall of Oriath. For people who don't know, remember you can catch this on the Path of Exile website. Uh, you can just type in pathofexile.com slash Oriath. Uh, and this is the expansion that brings out the uh, Pantheon system, which is kind of like an additional buff system, along with 10 total acts and no more replayability. So we don't have to go through, you know, normal into cruel dif uh, difficulty into merciless. It's now just going to be one straight to 10, which is pretty cool. Uh, but before I get into this topic, I do want to give a shout out to Ziz. Uh, Ziz is another Twitch streamer and YouTuber for Path of Exile. And I'll be doing an AMA, uh, which is an ask me anything on his channel uh, tomorrow at about 3 p.m. Central Time. Or you can just go to his stream, twitch.tv slash Zizzerin, and just type exclamation mark AMA, and it'll pop up the time like remaining for you. Uh, and I'll have that linked in the descri uh, description down below as well. So for me personally, um, in terms of what I would like to see for the Fall of Oriath trailer, or not trailer, but actual expansion, uh, since I'm going to assume I'm going to be playing the beta, I mean, they haven't really given anything, and I don't want to sound like an entire little uh, whiny brat or anything, but like in general, you know, I'm going to assume a lot of content creators are going to get access to the beta. I would personally like to see how well the performance of the game uh, kind of changes. I know this is kind of an awkward thing to point out because there's going to be so much new stuff in the game, but personally, I feel that as we have been getting more and more content in the game, the server stability and performance of the game has kind of went up and down. Uh, sometimes it's very good, sometimes it's very bad. Same thing with the servers. Sometimes they can be very good and sometimes they can be very bad. The main thing though is going to be the lag and the performance issues while you are mapping more towards end game content. You know, when you're running things like Double Beyond Shores, um, or just in general when you have large amounts of density, uh, pretty much anything factoring with Double Beyond and Breaches, your client pretty much stutters. It, it comes to a halt. Uh, and that's not really based off the performance or power of your computer. It's kind of just the way things are right now in the game. Uh, and this is very unfortunate and it kind of it kind of does limit a little bit of the builds that I like to play personally uh, because if you play a build, for example, that is not really good at surviving and is mainly built around kiting and off-screening, it's difficult to keep that distance that you really want when you're have, you, know, you have like two or three FPS opposed to playing a low-life righteous fire character that can make many fuck-ups and, you know, it, it's okay. Um, so that's going to be my personal thing uh, that I'm excited for that they haven't really, I don't think, touched up too much on. Now, in terms of actual, you know, things that we've, we've been given, um, they said they're going to be, there's going to be new skills. So new skills is definitely something that I'm really excited for. Um, the Fall of Oriath is our largest content expansion ever. It includes new skill gems, unique items, and much more. I am really curious to see if they have added in any new threshold skills. For people who don't know what threshold skills are, it basically is the tag that's on the skill gem. So if you were to look at something like Cold Snap, right? Cold Snap would be like a cold spell uh, that is tagged with, you know, in, uh, area of effect because it's an AoE spell. And that AoE is what the tag is. If you use something like Ethereal Knives, it would be a projectile. If you use something like Heavy Strike, it would be melee. If you use something like Scorching Ray, it would be called channeling. I'm always curious to see if they want to, if, if they add in kind of new um, category skills because it makes play it makes play for like a different play style, uh, and I think that's really cool because if you're going to be playing these skills for God knows how long, you really want to pick something that suits your play style. So that's something I'm super excited for. Of course, I always love playing traps, so any type of new traps uh, I'll probably check out as well. Um, I think it's always fun to have like a hit and run play style and whatnot, even though it is kind of looked down upon in the current meta because no leech or sustain. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it coming from me. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on kind of what you want to see in the beta and what you, or not beta, but you know, beta slash expansion and what you guys, I guess your favorite one. So one of what you hope to see and two of what your favorite is uh, from what you've seen already. I don't know why I fucking explain it in such a convoluted way. Uh, anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. If you did, give it a thumbs up for Mini K because he's cleaning himself. Is that right, little, uh, little Mini K? Mini K, is your tail dirty? Here you go, buddy. You want to lick this Mini K? Is it dirty? Oh, no, I can't reach him.
I can't reach Kappa K, boys. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys all later. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. I hope to see you guys on Ziz's stream tomorrow as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. If you guys like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow.